Hey, this is Linda and Charles with Fun Loving Couples, the premier online destination for committed couples that like to travel, eat well, work out, and have fun. And today, we have the Dixons, Dan and Kim, from Warwick, New York, on with us. Um, and it's great to have you guys on. Um, we've only met online, so this is really cool. Yeah, I think they've also won everything that we've ever all had. Our all our couples. Except, except one. Except one. Yeah. <laughs> The last one. <laughs> the last one, yes. <laughs> Had a lot of entries in that one, so our chances of winning were slim. That's right. And, and the one before that, you were the only one, so of course you know. had to win. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And that was a, a good win one. Is a win. <laughs> and the salts are good, by the way. Thank you for the salts. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And you can enjoy them on your barbecue. We got So just real quick, we got the tour of Dan and Kim's um, backyard. It was a, um, a backyard date, and it was really cool. So yeah. you'll have to look that up and find out um, what Dan and Kim did to win. Great job, by the way. And I'm going to have to – I have questions about your uh, straw bale planters. Awesome. I've always thought about doing that but just never pulled the trigger on it. You can see the pumpkins I got going. They're like this big. Wow. Yeah. You can Very post cool. some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be our, our gardening topic interview for a later date. There. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast too. <laughs> All right, so rapid fire. So, how long have you guys been together? Twenty-seven years. I got that right. Wow, you said together too. <laughs> like double gold star. That's right. It's like double rainbow. Double rainbow. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Married twenty-five, together twenty-seven. Right. Very cool. Awesome. So that begs the question: How did you guys meet? In a bar. Through mutual friends in a bar. <laughs> in a bar. <laughs> So was it, was it in like your local neighborhood or? Uh, well, not local for where we live now, but where we grew up, yeah. yeah. Right on. Nice. Wait, yeah. So are you guys originally from New York? We are. She yeah, is, we're from yeah. one county further down, Rockland yeah. County. Mm. Okay. And we moved up to Orange County when we were looking for a house. Yeah. Oh. Very cool. She didn't really, wasn't enamored with me when we first met. So. <laughs> sure, that's why. <laughs> uh oh, are we going to rehash old memories? <laughs> hey, yeah, we got to stop because I'm not going to get in trouble on my exit. You guys have a conversation. I know he knows the story talking. well. He knows what he did. Look at where we are. So, see if we can laugh about it 27 years later, right? <laughs> Maybe. Hold on, stop. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with 27 years under your belt, it begs to ask kids? Two kids. Two kids. Right on. Atlanta girl, 21 and 26. Right, so you have adults now. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. We're very happy with that. Yeah. We're happy <laughs> when they leave the house, though. They haven't flown on their own just yet. So. It's coming. It's coming. Our it secret is we're going to be the ones to leave. We're just going to wake up one day and take off. and. Oh, we're due. That's what I said. I said, we're just going to have to put the house on the market and then just tell them they're going to have to move out because, well, <laughs> only 21 she gets a few more years but the older one it's time <laughs> I get it. All right, so now, this is always a fun conversation at least we've, we've done it a couple of times what are your what's your favorite travel destination anywhere in the world uh, we go so many different places our favorites probably right now Cape May Cape May in New Jersey mm. oh nice is that where you guys were just at no, no, we were a little yeah. north of that. Yeah. Cape May is a little further south. It's very Victorian-looking town. I love stuff like that. Old houses, Victorian, like, I'm in my element there. Yeah. That's Cape May, New Jersey, by the way. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Very cool. We'll have to look that up. And speaking of that, I mean, speaking of the old houses, you guys just recently celebrated your um, anniversary in New Orleans, or I, I can't say it right, but I'm going to say it my way, New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> yep, and you guys gave us some great tips because uh, you were there a couple months before us. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we took that list and we hit a lot of the places that you told us about. Yep. We stayed in the same hotel, which was, which was great. The staff yeah. there was awesome. Um, the location was great, and we just had such a great time. I mean, it was four days we were there yeah I think four and well, it was just like perfect yeah. I mean we did just everything that you could do there in those four days and I think anything more might have been a little bit too much but we had a really fun time that's, yes. yeah. that's awesome did you, did you get to go and see some of the houses Kim 
Yeah, no house tours, but we did do a ghost tour carriage ride. So I got oh, to see a lot of the houses that way. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, did I'm you guys just was... make it across the city grill or whatever's across from the hotel? Uh, I don't know if you saw oh, that little you breakfast would, spot. You would know oh, yes, because when you walk in, it was a show. Is that we, the breakfast place? Or? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, we did go there. We did go twice. Mm -hmm. We had breakfast there twice. Nice. I, when we walked in, we didn't even know what was going on because they were just like, come on in. Like, they were yelling. <laughs> we were like, yeah. we, like, we didn't know what to do. Like, they're like, no, sit down. They had our coffee ready for us. Called us king and queen, flirting with both of us. Yeah. It was, it was, it was king and queen. queen. Yeah. The first yeah. day it was lord and lady. Lord and lady. My lord. <laughs> <laughs> they were so great. They're awesome. But the, the people that live that live there that work there were really yeah fabulous. It was it was a great town. Yeah, agree. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We had fun too. Mm -hmm. I didn't want. I had to interrupt because I remembered that you guys were there as well. And I, the mm -hmm. house the houses we did we did a lot of walking, so we got to see some of the really pretty houses. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, that's true. We did go down to the garden. To the garden district. district which yep. Was awesome. Yeah. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Took the trolley down. The trolley yep. was cool. Uh, next question up for bids is uh, favorite restaurant anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Ooh. I, I would say our local restaurants here are pretty good in Warwick. Um, there's a landmark restaurant, which is awesome. Yeah, that's one of our favorites. Yeah, it's one of our favorites. Um, nice, great food, but also good atmosphere. Um, Equally important, obviously. And we have a favorite Italian restaurant, just like the Billy Joel song, every time we go, <laughs> it's our Italian restaurant. Um, yeah. that, we, that we escape to and you know have yeah. a nice meal out together so um but yeah i mean warwick there's so many nice places to eat around here that you know any place here is usually one of our favorites right yep yeah. that would be great nice. well we'll get to those in a minute i don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet but we're oh, going to come up on ask, it seems like they're little mom and pop shops not you know the tgi fridays and all that kind of stuff yeah, we're not really into chain restaurants i mean uh, Ruby Tuesdays, I guess. Burger King is the closest restaurant here in Warwick that's a chain. Everything else wow. is all... It's the only one. Yeah. Right. They won't let yeah. them in now. Yeah, everything else is all just locally yeah. owned, and which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the best. Nothing wrong with big chains, especially yeah. if you're on the road. You just need to get something to eat. But if, to your point... Right. If you want, if you want an atmosphere, you want an experience, you're not going to find that typically in a chain. You got to go to the mom and pop little yeah. off the you know off the beaten path but there's so much fun yeah and they got history and ambiance there's a really cool place now well we'll get to that i think we're getting to that in war <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so favorite restaurant is isn't there is in warwick we'll come back to that in a minute so the big question is what do you guys do for fun uh concerts concerts yeah <laughs> you guys probably see enough of those of online that we post um but we like to i mean we grew up listening to heavy metal music and 80s heavy metal music. Yep. And um, fortunately, these bands are still playing these days. We, yep. we don't know how much longer they have. So 30 years ago, when you would go, you would you know, either camp out, she wouldn't, or stay in a sleazy hotel. <laughs> but now we are going and we're staying in bed and breakfasts and we're going to see a show and we're making a weekend of it in a different place. And it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a lot of fun. So. Get the best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. And, and in February, we're taking the Monsters of Rock cruise. Um, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> leaving out of Miami for a week to Jamaica yeah. and uh, Haiti. Haiti. I think it stops. There's a private island there. And um, wow. just all heavy metal bands play for a week, going <laughs> out, coming back. So we're looking forward to that. That's our 50th birthday present to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds week. like a good one. Funny thing is, we when we were dating years ago, uh, we went to the Monsters of Rock tour at the yeah. old, what was it, Three Rivers Stadium? Three Rivers Stadium yeah, in three. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we had, we got uh, field tickets, and we thought that was super cool, but I think it was in like July or August, and it must have been like 180 degrees. Uh, yeah, yeah. People were passing out. They were spraying the crowd with water, and it, it was just making it slush. It was great. <laughs> We were young, so it was okay. Now oh, I can't right. no. Yeah. No, now I insist on seats. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't do the like box. So I can get up and move around. We need space. <laughs> 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 yes. 
That sounds like a lot of fun, though. That'll be awesome. Oh, my gosh. And I know you guys do a lot of stuff. I mean, you get away a lot, which is awesome. And um, we encourage couples to do that all the time. But we see you guys everywhere doing a lot of different concerts. And it's funny because um, you had just recently see, um, saw Alice Cooper mm -hmm. with the show and everything. And um, our local casino is actually is hosting him very soon. We were like, oh. Oh, but I think we're out of town, so we didn't get tickets. Uh, <laughs> it's on a great show. You it is go. worth it for the, It's like going to a Broadway play. It's like a Broadway play. It really yeah. is. He puts out all the stuff. It's rock. Pulls out all the stuff. Yeah. 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 That's cool. And then I think you guys posted what last day or so. Tesla? Yeah, well, they're coming to town in a couple October. months. October. You love Tesla? <gasps> Me yeah, too. Yeah, that was one of my favorite bands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, they are great. We've seen them a lot. Yep, and they're going to be on Monty nice. Rock Cruise too. So yes, they will. Oh. oh, they're on the. <laughs> when is this cruise again? Come on, come on, it's out of Miami in February. Look it up. February twenty fourth to March first. Oh. You might have to take a look at it. My birthday's in March, so. Oh, <laughs> God, the setup has just started. I feel it already. Uh, and maybe you. meant to be. Sorry, Charles. I broke into that one. <laughs> uh, I'm not mad. That's, that'll be a good one. At least it, there's other ones that I uh, would not be happy about. I've, I've learned to like Tesla, and actually they've got a very good portfolio of music. They really they do. They really do. Yeah. Yep. And actually, the Go Join Go um, website that you – you had the uh, podcast on or the interview that really worked out well for us uh, getting a hotel in Miami. Um, we had kind of held and we're looking and I was like, you know what? She, Kim had mentioned that she saw the interview first and um, you know, she said, I think we should check it out. And we logged in and I couldn't believe the prices. I mean, I cross matched them against what you can get just going online straight to the mm -hmm. hotel or on Google. And they beat it by like 125 bucks a night for, for yeah. a night. You know, nice for itself with the first one right there. It yep. It really did. It definitely did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had a little trouble with the airline flight, which was just a confusion. That wasn't, I don't think the Go Join Go's problem, but um, the, for the hotel to work out, it worked out awesome. Yeah. So we're looking yeah. forward to using that in the future for our travels wherever we go. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Chauncey from Go Join Go and kudos to her. But, well, she did say one thing about the flights. Domestically, it's probably not as uh, – as strong as if you're flying international or if you're going to compare like uh, first class rates. Yeah. So we haven't done anything international yet. And to your point, we've probably seen or experienced the same thing. Yeah. We had booked a flight for his mom to come out here through go join go. And the first flight that I booked, um, it was, I, it wasn't available like after I booked it. So they sent me an email immediately and I had to pick new flights and I, I just went back and forth with the woman on the phone or on the computer telling her I need, I need certain dates and times because, you know, she's in her 70s and I don't want her to get home too late when she flies back home. So they, they worked with me um, and I think I had to pay a little more for the flight, but I felt good. At least they were responsive. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were responsive to me too. I, I give them that. When I emailed them, they got right back to me and then Chauncey got back to me. So nice. Uh, we'll try it again. You know, it just didn't work for this one, but we'll definitely try it again. See yeah, where it right. ends up. Very yeah. cool. My biggest thing was I was so skeptical, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, the first time. So we paid the we paid the money in the first time, made the money back. So I'm happy. That's that's <laughs> all. I, <need> to do. <laughs> I haven't been to the hotel yet, so they might put us in a closet somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I I think I mentioned just real quick on the interview um, with Chauncey. I was afraid as well. We booked to Embassy Suites, and I thought we were going to get a closet because it it was basically like it, it was telling us we were getting bare bones. But when we checked in, I mean, it was the full suite, you know, we still got breakfast and happy hour and all that kind of stuff. But the way it was worded, I was like, they're going to put us in a closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They could. I think I you guys should be okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> hey, so let's talk about Warwick for a little bit because, I mean, really, that's we want to share your great town and uh, get some points of interest as well. Cool. So when, not if, but when we come to Warwick, um, what are the must-sees and what are the must-dos? Okay, so when you come to Warwick in September, which you're coming next month from what we understand, <laughs> um, there's like 80 restaurants here. There's 10 bed and breakfast here. Um, there's a drive-in movie theater, which is great. I mean, I think there's only two or three left in the state of, War in the state of New York. Um, 
there's wineries, I think like 10 wineries in town here. Um, all different ways to spend a weekend. I mean, if you're looking to spend a weekend, it's like, I think the perfect place. And we've done that. We've um, actually vacationed in Warwick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, she, and it's funny because she works in a, she works in school and one year they do a, a silent auction type of thing. And one of the local bed and breakfast had, you know, a silent auction there. Um, and nobody was signing up for it. I was like, are you kidding me? So we signed up for it. I think we got it for like 80 bucks for like two days. 95. Yeah. Wow. And I was like, this is great. So we're like, all right, we'll vacation in Warwick. So we went to bed and breakfast 10 minutes away. And we went to wineries. We went out to dinner. We walked around downtown. Walked around downtown. That's like, a really nice downtown. Very small town. Like a lot of local stores, which I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, There's a the number two ice cream stand yeah, in Belle America. Belleville Creamery is number two in the country. Yeah, it's, got, it's on top of a mountain. So it's got these awesome views mm -hmm. of the valley and... Um, sunset time is just like it's jam. People just get in there and they buy ice cream and they just watch the view, you know, for the hour that it is. Yeah, it's right on the Appalachian Trail, so people will come off the trail to go over to the creamery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, there's there's just so much to do here. I mean, there's skiing, there's you know, uh, bowling. You know, if you're orchards, that, you apple, know, picking, apple picking, strawberry picking. Nice. Yeah, right. so, is, how big is Warwick? What's the population? Yeah, The village is small. Like, we live in the village, so, I don't know, 4,000? Yeah, maybe. Maybe 4,000 people in the village, yeah. which is where we are. But then the town of Warwick is made up of three other villages, so that's a little bit yeah. bigger. Yeah. You know, but we like the village. You have to want to live here. It's not easy to get to. You have to drive over two mountains, and there's no secret fast route. It just no. is. <laughs> but once you get here, it's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Village, it's 80, it's 80 restaurants? Village. I'm sorry, what was that? You said you have 80 restaurants in the village? Restaurants, yep. I looked it up. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So we're a town of like 140,000. Uh, I'd be hard-pressed to, to find if we had 80 restaurants. I mean, yeah. we might, but... Still, I would have 80 restaurants makes would, sense, but for your place to have 80, 80 eateries, places to eat, that would include like a bagel shop or sure. or whatever. Right. So yeah, definitely yeah. a lot of options, but you do have some some high end um, restaurants and some middle of the road and some yeah. quick places too. So nice, great, it really is good. Yeah, that's really cool. It's, it sounds perfect. Like it, you know, I mean, like a perfect little town to live in. Um, and to walk around and we have an old town area where we live and there's a bunch of restaurants and local shops and that we go all the time and, and we vacation in our backyard we have about 50 wineries uh, like two miles from our house and it can be dangerous yeah <laughs> <laughs> and, <fun. laughs> so, and they have you know nice hotels and we'll go there for you know one or two nights just to get away mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's it's great to vacation in your in your own you don't have to travel four hours to get there, which is the first thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just, this is fun. I always say, you know, people say, what's your happy place to go to? It doesn't matter. As long as she's next to me and we're sitting on a swing or going to New Orleans or Hawaii or whatever, or a rock concert, that's, that's the best place to be, you know, so. Agreed. 100%. That's awesome. <laughs> so, what was that? He's racking up points there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Charles will say brownie points. Brownie points. Yep, hey, yep. I'm ashamed to admit it. I want everyone to know. I said that on purpose, and I'm getting my brownie points. Document you know, this. I've changed from when she first met me and thought I was a jerk. See how nice I got? <laughs> That's because he's with me. Uh-huh, yeah. Very fine. I did. <laughs> All right, so with 80 restaurants, what's the best one to go to? Well, the landmark, what we said. The landmark is one of our favorites for dinner, and that's actually like a nice restaurant, but they also have a bar area, which, which is um, like a more bar menu, burgers, wings, stuff like that. Um, so you could go either way when you go there. We like to go to the bar area because it's just a little more intimate and quiet and dark and, you know, it's just nice. But we Where's the place that they opened up that Washington stayed at that we went for the cocktails? Baird's Tavern. Baird's Tavern. So they just opened up. There's this historical building. It was built in like the 1700s. 
Wow. And it used to be owned just by the Historical Society, and they would just do tours in there. But last year, somebody came up with the great idea. It, used, it was an old tavern, and, and Washington, Martha Washington, stayed there one night. That was like the claim to fame. Um, so what they did was a year or so ago, they turned it into a tavern again. So they had the bar there, and it's really this old time. You go walking in, and then they refurnished it with all the, you know, yeah. period time pieces. Yeah. And you go there, and you get like a craft cocktail or something. And we went um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was just really cool just to hang out and have a nice cocktail and just, you know, enjoy the ambiance of the place. So There's no food. It yeah, would just be for drinks. Just for drinks, yeah. yeah. So when you come up on the 22nd, that's where we'll bring you. We'll bring you that. Nice. Sounds yeah. good. Nothing wrong with to it. nothing wrong with no food. We can get with eighty restaurants. You've got plenty yeah. of food. <laughs> Four, yeah. <laughs> That's so there's cool. a lot, of, a lot of cool places, but those two places in particular would be. That's a favorite. Yeah, great yeah. to hang out in. Sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah, one of the things we like to do is when we go to dip, to travel, and you saw that when we were in Houston. We'll go to, you know, maybe four or five places, have an appetizer, have a cocktail, just to try it and, you know, see what the service is like so we can let everyone else know about it. But um, it's just, it's fun. We call it a progressive. progressive. <laughs> we'll do that when we come to New York. Yeah, uh, it happens. And because it's a travel, eat well, work out type group, where do we work out in and around Warwick? I think, um... Well, no, there's not. I was going to say, I think there's only two gyms, but that's not true. I think there's three. Is there three? There's Snap Fitness, Anytime Fitness, and there's um, like the boot camp thing. I can't oh, think of right. the name of it. Cycle something. Yeah. No, uh, Intrepid. Intrepid. Okay. So, that's, so that's where you guys would go. But really, if you want to do something cool, hike the Appalachian Trail for for a little that's, bit. Yeah, that's my speed. So I get the gyms, and I appreciate that. But uh, – I'm, uh, we have enough gyms. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to go and do cool stuff like a hike or a trail. That sounds awesome. Yeah, the Appalachian Trail runs from Georgia to Maine, and we're right in the middle of it. There's people that walk that. They'll spend four or five months walking the whole distance. Yeah. Um, and there's some that just go for a day trip, and you go a mile up the trail, and really beautiful sights and stuff to see there. So that's where you want to go when you come here. And there's a lot of different access points from here, mm -hmm. so it's not just one area that you can go. There's a few different ways from where we are that you can get on the trail, mm -hmm. which is cool. Very nice. cool. That the, sounds beautiful. The mile or two sounds good to me. I don't know yeah. about the four months. I'm not quite there yet. Maybe later. <laughs> no, I never want to do that. <laughs> you wouldn't even get me. I, well, I don't camp anyway, so that's just not happening. Yeah, me either. Oh, you and Linda are going to get along well. Linda's <laughs> version of camping is uh, is the Hilton. <laughs> yeah. 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 Indoor plumbing. Yeah. 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 Thank God for that. No bugs. <laughs> no bugs. <laughs> Hopefully, no. Hopefully, we got <laughs> if there's bugs, there's a problem. Sorry, what was that? I said, if there's bugs in the Hilton, there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, and they'll yeah. hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, so Kim, you said something about the, the ice cream shop being number two. What does that mean? Number two in the country? In the country, yep. How did they the Hill Farms it? Creamery. It was in, um, what is it, Travel and Leisure Magazine, yeah. I think. I think mm -hmm. it was in Travel and Leisure Magazine. I think the number one place was in Florida, the state of Florida. And we came in number two. It's homemade. The farm, it's owned by the family who runs the farm. Bell, um, no, it's not Belleville. What's I'm the family sure. name? I'm not sure. Yeah. It'll come to me. But they've been here for years, and they were running a dairy farm, and they just weren't really making any money. So they wanted to start – they want to keep the farm. And so they decided to start making ice cream. So they raise the cows, they milk them, and then they turn it into this fabulous ice cream. Yeah, and they <laughs> really did build this great shop on top of the mountain that the, – the, it's all about location, location, location. I mean, they really have it because you go there and you're not just paying for the ice cream, you're just paying for the experience yeah. to sure. go up there and just see this beautiful vista yeah. from that, you know, from that vantage point. Wow, that sounds really cool. Can you imagine having that job, having to go to all these creameries around the United yeah. States and taste them? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I think it was number two because of the ice cream and the view. Yeah. The view yeah. was part of it because it overlooks the valley yeah. and you can see other farms down below and trees yeah. and it Pretty is cool. beautiful. Yeah. 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 Nice. That's nice. Right nice. On. Go there too. Add that to your list. <laughs> Well, yeah, I definitely going to. I'm not even an ice cream eater anymore. I used to eat ice cream all the time, mm -hmm. but I've stopped. Thank you, because it actually helped me to lose this. But uh, with mm -hmm. that description, we're definitely going to go have to check that one out. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's and so, cool. hey, look, I'm watching the clock. I just want to be mindful. I've got. Uh, uh, I think we've already asked what do we do? What do we when we come to town? What do we do for fun? But in case there's something different, let us know. But as we wrap up, I look at uh, the, as long as you guys have been together couple of kids, both have jobs. Uh, you've got a great town with the list of things you told us. Um, what's the number one tip that you have for couples? Don't stop dating. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Seriously. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Don't uh, stop dating. I mean, that's, what, that's what got you to meet each other in the first place. So why would you forget that? You know, and I think that's what a lot of people do forget. They get bored with each other and, you know, they lose interest. But like I said, we never do. We, you know, it's, as long as we're alone somewhere or even away with, you know, family or whatever, as long as we're together, it's yeah. great for me. And we were really smart, like when the kids were small. I know the new thing is to just let the kids stay up till whenever. But we put our kids to bed by 8, 830, and it was adult time until we yeah. went to bed to go to work. And even if we would just watch TV together or just talk together or he'd watch a game, maybe I'd be reading a book sitting next to him, but we would be together and it would just be grown-up time. Mm -hmm. No yeah. kid. So you need that. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's it. I think people lose track of that. They'll put their kids first, and, you know, it sounds horrible, but I don't think the kids should come first. I think the parents come first, and you get the well-being of the parents and then the rest of the family unit that's right. kind of sh is strengthened from that. So um, that's I our couldn't agree more. I agree 110%, and I actually go – I take it a step further in that um, – uh, for me, my my opinion was for me to good, be a good father was to be um, in love with my wife, their mother, and to be a model so that they would see what that looks like. Absolutely. How does their dad treat their mom? How does their mom treat their dad and vice versa? And yeah. I also think that there's four things that our kids need from us. Um, the love of a mom, that's a, that's almost a given, and you know, that comes naturally. Um, but the discipline of a mom, the love of a dad, and the discipline of a dad, and all four of those are uniquely different, mm -hmm. uniquely different. But, uh, you know, we both came, and I say that for this, for this point because we both came from the proverbial broken homes, right? Our dads didn't stick around, um, and we could have been a statistic. We could have been damaged goods, but I think also as we matured, we decided that we weren't going to be a statistic, uh, and this, this relationship was what we wanted, and that's what we wanted to model. So to your point, Dan, not that we didn't take care of our kids, because I we spoiled our kids, uh, but we didn't put them before ourselves because this was more important than that, in my opinion. Yeah, and at the end of the day, they're going to be gone, and we're going to be together. And a lot, we've exactly. seen a lot of couples that have always put their kids first, and were so um, divided that when it was time for them to be alone, they ended up splitting up because yeah. they didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. great points. All great points. And I don't get how people don't don't see it it's so simple you know but <laughs> I, I i guess some people just don't get it but you know to your point too what what you model for your kids like it's it's fun like i'll see my daughter we'll be somewhere or we'll post something and she'll you know put the hashtag goals as a reply you know <laughs> and so just seeing stuff like that is you know you know you're you're setting a right example and you know hopefully other people follow or and your kids especially you know Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Very good. That was that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Don't stop dating. Hey, folks, everyone who's watching this, let's take it from Dan and Kim. Don't stop dating and make sure that you have adult alone time. And go to a concert or two because, I mean, it couldn't, it couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> Let your hair down. Nice. <laughs> Stay young. Why do you have to grow up? There's no reason for it in certain yeah. situations. <laughs> the, the disclaimer <laughs> Within reason, right? yes exactly <laughs> well awesome thank you guys so much and and we are coming to visit on purpose just to meet you guys in person we're um, going to be in maryland with clients and we thought we're taking a train over it's two and a half hour train ride so we get to meet you in person and hang out 
Awesome. Yay. Can't wait. Can't wait. Check out the, the landmark and some crazy killer ice cream before we go <laughs> hike a mile on the Appalachian Trail. I can't oh, wait. Maybe we hike first and then do the other uh, thing. Yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out. We hike then ice cream. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Then dinner. And then cocktails say, yeah. a third starter. <laughs> there we go. The day's been planned. I got the schedule. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you um, thank you for having really us. Really appreciate it. Yeah, and thanks for the wonderful job you guys do with the uh, website. It really is. Uh, it's great with the Facebook page. Um, a lot of people coming together. It's fun seeing all the different uh, couples out there and what they post. And yeah. hope that more do because it's you know it's great seeing that. So yeah. kudos to you guys for for keeping this going and spearheading it, it and, together. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot of work, I'm sure, but we appreciate it. It's fun. We enjoy it. Yeah. And we get to talk to great folks like you and yes. um, have vacation destinations. <laughs> and, and, and we appreciate you guys. I mean, you're very active in the community. So we, we really appreciate that. And we don't even know you. I mean, like we know you online, but we don't know you personally. So it's, it's, it's really cool. Yes. Oh, we know you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know all the stuff we post right now. <laughs> well, again, thank you guys so much.